to expose the hoaxes and abuses of power that have been tearing our country apart, we will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. And there are plenty of them. Fifth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives and to subvert our government and our democracy. When possible, we will press criminal charges. All right, fasten your seatbelts because things are about to get crazy. That was former president and current candidate for indictment, Donald Trump, making some big promises. Among them was Trump's pledge to create a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to root out government officials accused of being anti-Trump. Now that alone sounds a lot like a fast drive down the highway to dictatorship, but Trump wasn't done. He's also pledging to, quote, crack down on government leakers, because as you may remember, so many of Trump's legal troubles began with leaks. But wait, as crazy as it is, there's even more. As many as 100,000 government positions could be moved out, and I mean immediately, of Washington to places filled with patriots who love America, and they really do love America. Yep. After firing disloyal government officials and jailing those he thinks are leakers, Donald Trump is pledging to dissolve entire government agencies and move them to red states, where they'll be filled by loyal MAGA diehards. Okay, fire your opponents, jail the real problems, fill the government with MAGA loyalists. That's a fascism. And just as expected, Trump and the far right are already making clear that when Republicans are in charge, it's legal open season on their opponents. And that's why I say, hey, for all the Democrats out there watching, when we start perp walking all your favorite Democrats, you're not allowed to complain. Okay, you're done. You've lost all rights to complain. If you indict Donald Trump, when we finally got our act together and we get attorneys general that are not a waste of rations uh, and we start all of a sudden putting, you know, top level Democrats in handcuffs and we just start going in subpoenas, you guys are done. You have to take it. That's that's the new the new America is who can put the most amount of political opponents in jail. I guess that's the new contest, right? Charlie Kirk doesn't care if you know what Republicans want to do, because he knows that when Republicans are in charge, the laws they enforce against Democrats won't apply to them. That's called impunity. And boy, we are just filling up that authoritarianism bingo card, aren't we? Just to be clear, this isn't some 2024 GOP fever dream. The Republican House of Representatives is already turning itself into a taxpayer-funded war room for Donald Trump. And real committee business is grinding to a halt. We're going after the Biden family bank records and we are going to be exposing their real crimes and corruption and business deals in foreign countries. You know, they always blame President Trump and the Trump family, and they have persecuted them, ruined their name, and they keep dragging them into court uh, to the point where they want to arrest President Trump. Well, let me tell you something. We're coming after the Biden family, except there's a big difference. We actually have proof, and we are looking forward to rolling that out. And I can't wait to see where that goes, because you know what I've always said, Steve. I've said impeach Joe Biden. Marjorie Taylor Greene isn't kidding around. Entire House committees led by Jim Jordan, James Comer, and others are now dedicated to derailing any efforts to hold Trump legally accountable for his crimes. That's your taxpayer dollars at work. Republicans currently hold an incredibly slim nine-seat majority in the House. Still, they're more than willing to risk that majority for the chance to keep Donald Trump out of court. That should tell you a lot about how twisted their priorities have become. And anyone expecting some Republican to stand up and finally say enough is enough? Well, Keep dreaming. Mike Pence plans to build his presidential campaign around his bravery in standing up to Donald Trump. Except when called to testify by special counsel Jack Smith in his investigation, Pence has pledged to fight that subpoena all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. There are no heroes coming to save the Republican Party. Donald Trump's fascist plan for revenge is the Republican platform now. It's up to Americans to make sure he and Republicans never get the chance to turn that platform into a reality. And hey, while you're here, check out this video to dig even deeper into what Republicans have planned for you if they win the White House in 2024. And remember to subscribe and leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.